Welcome back with rising costs. Finding a good deal has never felt quite so sweet. There are tons of ways to save money this summer season, and we're excited to dive into that today. Yeah, I love that. So here to walk us through the ultimate summer guide to smarter spending is our resident money expert, another Melissa. Melissa Leon! Yeah. so excited to be talking about this. We all want to save big bucks. And so you say the key to that is timing. So take us through. So retailers have sales cycles. And so if you are looking for something in particular, or you have a need or a want, if you wait till the right time, you can get a good deal. So the, uh, the best time to buy something is usually toward the end of the season or just when the season's ended. So for example, if you are looking for ch heart-shaped chocolates, it's the day after Valentine's Day. <laughs> if you are looking for uh, a lot of inventory, but you still want a deal, then you want to get something when it's in peak demand because the retailers are going to be competing for your attention. So oh. just keep that in mind. Mm. Peak sales, peak season sales, that will give you the best uh, choice, but post-season sales is cheaper. And so keep a running tally on your phone. I set calendar reminders at the beginning of the month to shop for certain things. And I keep them, I mark the price down so that I know that I have a benchmark of what I'm looking for. Oh. Love that idea. Okay, let's break this down at the begin into the beginning and the end of summer season. It is June now. Mm -hmm. So what deals should we have our eyes on in the coming weeks? With Father's Day, retailers are putting so-called dad gifts on flash sale. So according to Consumer Reports, things like uh, tools, Whoa. your pressure washers. <laughs> yeah. Tools on sale right now. Pressure washers, drones, things that dads like, uh, video game consoles. Look for those things. Summers, we like to see a lot of sales on uh, sunscreen, yeah. insect repellent, things that are useful. So I usually stock up for my December vacations. Okay. Just make sure you pay attention to the expiry date. And finally, your summer clothing, your bathing suits, they will start to go on sale as the season progresses. Okay. Got it. Okay, so is there anything that you say avoid buying right now? I wouldn't say no to this because Summer travel and vacations. Everyone is thinking about that, right? So I wouldn't say no, but three tips right off the bat to help you save a little bit. Flexibility is your friend. If you can travel midweek, if you can go first thing in the morning, late at night, if you can fly to an alternative you know, airport or go to a destination that's not as popular, you're gonna save money. Second is loyalty. Loyalty pays. So if there's an airline that you like or a hotel chain that you are a devotee of, then sign up for their loyalty program, sign up for their emails, they will email you flash sales. And this is the time to take advantage of your frequent flyer miles. If you are looking for a new travel credit card, try to get one with a welcome bonus that's uh, hefty. And finally, it's expensive, so you need more time. You need more time to plan. And so do your research. They have dynamic pricing uh, that airlines use, which just means that they change the price based on an algorithm. So when you're planning, check often. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't think anyone likes to even think about the end of summer right now. We are just getting things started, but Flash forward, what are some great deals that we can be looking forward to at the end of the season? Your garden centers are gonna have massive clearance yeah. at the end of yeah. the sale. Yeah. And so if you can flex your, um, your delayed gratification muscle, which we all should be doing, we spent uh, eight billion dollars on lawn and garden supplies, wow. products and plants wow. in 2020. Most of that though was in May. So if you wait to the end of season, for example, I buy my perennials half price, near the end of season, they look really sad. <laughs> but when I plant them, for example, now I'm enjoying my hydrangeas from last, last year. year. And my garden center has a two year warranty so that I can bring it back if it doesn't grow and get my money back. But another caveat, wait until the end of the season. So I wanted a, I wanted a new um, umbrella, patio umbrella last June because raccoons had used it as a, as a toilet all season. It was yeah. nasty. Yeah. And I didn't want to look at it, but I wanted a new one. They were $500 in June. And I figured, you know what? I'm going to wait till August and get it for $99. Wow. Yeah, great deal. But the downside was it was almost sold out. So I had to search for it. I had to drive around to other stores and I found the last one in not exactly the color I wanted. But it was 99 bucks. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then you get the pair of shoes, so now you have an umbrella and a pair of shoes. <laughs> sure, money for other sure, things. Sure, why not? Why not? Money for other things. Um, summer is also the season of garage sales. They are everywhere in my neighborhood right now. So what do you say about, you know, taking advantage of the secondhand market? Okay, three things for garage sales. I can get great deals there. 
the best, so okay, the two, two things are going to term, determine your garage sale gem, the price of it. Timing and negotiation. So the earlier you go, you're gonna have more choice. Mm -hmm. The later you go, you're gonna have better deals. So I have been at garage sales where people just handing me free yeah. stuff because it's at the end of the day and they wanna get rid of it. Um, you have to be prepared to haggle and you have to be prepared to walk away. So my friend Fotini is a negotiation expert. She says to anchor, so name the first price, a little bit lower than what you want to end up with, so that way the seller still feels good. And if you're not a garage salesperson, you can still take advantage of the secondhand market because people are still moving in the summer, they're cleaning their garages, they are doing renovations. So you can find, according to Kijiji, in July and August, the things that people are selling the most, furniture, home appliances, and sports um, and exercise gear. Nice. Okay. We have hardly any time left, but I want to get to this question. We are at the halfway point of the year right now. Mm -hmm. What should we look out for when it comes to semi-annual sales? Retailers have semi-annual sales to clear out inventory to make room for new things. So this is a great time to get things. So for example, Bed, Bath & Body Works is having up to 75% off. Your Victoria's Secret is having their mid-annual sale. Um, and so if there's a brand you like, if there is something you're looking for, just Google. Semi-annual sale, warehouse sale, summer sale, and see what's available. Also in mid-July, Amazon Prime has its Prime Days. It's a four, it's a, it's a 48 hours of shopping, two-day event. Last year, uh, let's see, people bought more than 300 million items during that period of time. But if you're not an Amazon Prime member, you can still take advantage of the fact that other retailers want to capitalize on the hype. So they are going to run sales At the during the same time, usually in mid-July. Great. Our wallets, thank you, Melissa. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Good. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.